This is Precalculus 12, Chapter 1.4. This time we're going to look at relating polynomial functions and equations. The term with the highest power has the degree of the polynomial. It's a sum of all variable exponents. So let's look at some examples. x to the 5, that's pretty straightforward. That's degree 5. So we sum the variable exponents. 2 plus 2. So this is degree 4. Here we have degree 5. Here, this is degree 4. We don't count exponents for the constant terms, only variable terms. So the degree here is 5. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term with the highest power. So this has degree 4, degree 3. This has power 4. This has power 3, so this is the highest power, so the leading coefficient is negative 3. Here we have power 3, here we have power 4, so this is our leading coefficient, 4. So be careful of polynomials that aren't ordered from highest to lowest. Okay, we can classify polynomials as even degree or odd degree. And from the last lesson, where do even degree polynomials finish when they start in quadrant 2? This is quadrant 2. They finish in quadrant 1. And here we have a global min. And when they start in quadrant 3, they finish in quadrant 4. This one has a local max, a local min, and a global max. Okay, let's look at odd degrees. Where do odd degrees polynomials finish when they start in quadrant 2? They finish in quadrant 4. And in quadrant 3, they finish in quadrant 1. And here we have local min local max. And max, min, max, min, and these are all local. Local min and local max. Polynomials generally have peaks and valleys, and also call them hills and valleys. This means they can have global and local minimums and maximums. The lowest point is the global minimum, and the highest point is the global maximum. So here is the lowest point. No point on the curve is lower than that one. So this is global. And we have local min and local max. And here, here, and here. So the number of local minimums and maximums must match the number of hills and valleys. We can also call a global minimum a local minimum. But to be more specific, you want to call it a global, if that's the case. OK, here we have a global max, local max, and local min. And I gave you this term before, it's also known as 
absolute. And last time we talked about the maximum number of mins and max. It's one less than the degree of the polynomial. Can an odd degree polynomial have a global min or max? And we've discussed this twice, and the answer is no. Because it starts at negative infinity and goes to positive infinity, or it goes from positive infinity to negative infinity. Okay, we talked about repeated roots briefly last time. This is called multiplicity. So it's the number of times the zero repeats. And you should know that we say we're looking for zeros for functions and roots for equations. And a lot of people interchange this. Try to be as correct as possible, and you'll learn it faster. But don't be confused if people interchange these two terms. OK, we classify multiplicity as odd or even based on the exponent. So this is even, this is odd, and when there's no exponent, it's implied that it's 1. And here we have even, and here we have odd as well. OK, so a property of even multiplicity, and there's an L missing. Even multiplicity will have the curve touch, but not cross the x-axis. This is also called bounce. Odd multiplicity will have the curve cross the x-axis. And to be more specific, 1 is straight through. Greater than 1 has a slight kink. Across x-axis. So if this is your x-axis, it will look like that. There's a slight kink. Similar to what you see in a plain cubic function. OK, and use these properties and definitions to help you graph. So let's look at an example. First thing we notice, concave down. This is going to bounce. And these are odd. And it's going to go straight through because it's just one. The y-intercept, we have the negative sign. We have 3 squared, and we have 1, and we have negative 2. So this gives us a y-intercept of 18. There's two negative signs. This negative sign is not part of the squared. OK, so graphing tips. Use the intercepts. We have the intercepts and another intercept. Smaller peaks and valleys when the zeros are closer together. So these two are close. So the valley or peak should be smaller than this valley or peak. Polynomials are smooth, no jagged edges. And factor before sketching. This one's already factored. We know it's concave down, so we start in quadrant 3. And we know it bounces, so don't go straight at it. Comes down, and it's going to go straight through. 
and we need a scale here. We need to fit 18 on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got to go up by threes. This is 18, 12, and six. So usually the minimum or maximum is going to be roughly between the two intercepts. So I'm going to draw this and the peak is just going to be to the right of this. And it's going to come down and through. And that completes the graph. So we have different odd and even definitions. We have odd and even numbers. You know what these are. We have odd and even degree. We've covered this today. Okay, odd and even degree polynomials, and we have odd and even multiplicity. And this refers to a specific root. And we have odd and even functions. This is something we haven't covered yet. We will be covering this later on. So be prepared. And that completes this lesson.